So here you are, two or three hours later, at the end of the Islam Abridged series. You're probably wondering, what should I do now? I mean, how can you go back to your daily life knowing what you know? You're now aware of the biggest evil in the world since Nazism, hell, prior to Nazism, yet you are but one little person on the internet, just another faceless username amongst the millions. What could you possibly hope to accomplish? I've got some good news and bad news for you in response to that. The bad news is, Islam will soon add quite a few more millions to its current 270 million infidel killing streak. When that happens, it will be very sudden and very riveting. Most people will be in shock, wondering how something so horrific could happen. The good news is, you'll have the opportunity at that point to be a shining beacon of knowledge to those looking for answers, because unlike now, they will want answers. Therefore, this last video will serve as your resource section. If you want to know more about Islam, the following is a list of what Muslims consider to be very anti-Islamic websites. Naturally, being the opposite of Islam, they are truthful and straightforward. Number 1. Prophetofdoom.net Type Prophet of Doom into Google to find it. This is my favorite resource on Islam. It features a free online book by Craig Wynn, a journalist who dedicated 10,000 hours of his life learning about Islam following the September 11th attacks. This book is straightforward, entertaining, quotes right out of the Quran and Islamic histories, and even has an audio feature so you can listen if you don't want to read. There are also sections listing quotes from Islam about violence, racism, Christians, Islamic tolerance, stupidity, etc. It's an all-in-one. Number 2. The Religion of Peace .com. Type The Religion of Peace into Google to find it. I listed this site as second best primarily because of its incredible detail. Want to know how many people Muslims injured and killed yesterday? There's a list at the bottom of the page that gives the date, country, city, number of killed and injured, and a nutshell description of the incident. These guys actually keep track of it. The site also features outstanding pictures, articles on popular issues, insights on the Quran, and more. Take a look. You've got to love the sass of these guys. Number 3. PoliticalIslam.com Type Tears of Jihad into Google to find it. The actual site is called Political Islam and gives a very straightforward summary of what it means politically when Islam is implemented anywhere. However, my favorite part is the Tears of Jihad portion, because that was one of the places where I got my 270 million infidels killed number. In Islam, politics and religion are one, and this site offers short and sweet answers in an organized list format. Good for people who only have a few minutes. If you have more time, there's an up-to-date article section. Number 4. AnsweringIslam.org Type Answering Islam into Google to find it. Until recently, Muslims didn't need apologetics since they could make do with oppression of the sword. Now, however, the internet gives us the resourcefulness and anonymity to truly scrutinize Islam, so much lying and truth-bending has needed to be done to save face. Some Muslims have gotten good at deception with practice, so this site is dedicated to repudiating Muslim excuses. For instance, a Muslim insisted that the Quran confirmed a round earth, yet answering Islam showed that this wasn't true, because Quran 15 verse 19 used the verb madana hara, which means flat. This is the kind of stuff we might not otherwise have known to answer with, a good site for advanced critics. Number 5. AliSina.org Type AliSina.org into Google to find it. This site was created by a writer named Ali Sina, who used to be a Muslim until he read the Quran in 1994. He has since authored the book Understanding Muhammad and publicly offered $50,000 to anyone who can debate him and prove Islam isn't a religion of hate. The site features a whole list of debates, articles with some very interesting pictures, and interviews Mr. Sina has done since 1998. Number 6. Faithfreedom.org Type Faith Freedom into Google to find it. This site is a compilation of a whole bunch of articles about Islam. If you aren't looking for anything in particular, but just want to learn something random about Islam, this is probably the place for you. Of course, if you are searching for something in particular, faithfreedom.org is rich in data and can probably find that too. Number 7. Jihadwatch.org Type Jihadwatch into Google to find it. Robert Spencer is in charge of this site. 
He's a weekly columnist for the Front Page magazine, and he has written over 300 articles in the last 10 years concerning fundamentalist Islam. Reading his website is like reading a magazine devoted to observing Islam, and it's free of charge. If you've ever wondered what the national news is always leaving out of its reports, this is where you'll find all those tasty morsels of unreported information. Number 8. Shubat.com Type Walid Shubat into Google to find it. Mr. Shubat is another former Muslim who was once willing to die for jihad until he converted to Christianity. Personally, I can assure you that this guy is the real deal. Mr. Shubat's site is more activist than passive in style, so there are multiple buttons for donating and purchasing books for the cause of foiling Islam and supporting Israel. However, if you're not interested in that, you can read the blog about things that happened today and yesterday regarding Islam. I particularly like how there's a video attached to nearly every update. Number 9. MohammedTube.com Type MohammedTube into Google to find it. I'm actually not too crazy about this site. Like the name implies, it does offer audio and video on topics concerning Islam, but it's a little slow. If you're not big on reading, or if you want to see average, everyday people speaking up about Islam, it might be worth your while to check out. Number 10. Quran.com Type Quran.com into Google to find it. I would be remiss if I didn't include the online Quran in my resource list so that you might all go read it and confirm every quote I've made from it. This isn't an anti-Muslim site, but unlike most Muslim sites, this one doesn't wallow in Islamic excuses and speculation. It just gives the Quran as it is in six different translations. So there you have it. If you'd like to hear more from me, I'm going to continue on a separate series, some interactions I've had with everyday YouTube Muslims over the years. If nothing else, they ought to be entertaining, and you'll see firsthand what Islam has done to their brains. Also, be sure to check out my Let's Riff on the Muhammad movie and me singing Arabian Idiot. See you around.